Dalton's Sound Symphony, Mayor Henyard's Theatrical Town Meeting. In Dalton's latest theatrical production, Mayor Tiffany Henyard orchestrated a town meeting that played out like a symphony of sound sabotage. As citizens eagerly lined up to voice their grievances, the audio mysteriously fell victim to an unfortunate case of selective deafness. The first three speakers, armed with three minutes each to air their concerns, found themselves in an acoustic abyss. Attempts to shed light on issues, from delayed reimbursements to unpaid water work, were drowned out by a cacophony of audio woes. It seems Dalton's commitment to transparency took an unexpected intermission. Enter the mayor's seemingly well-rehearsed supporter, a self-appointed cheerleader who stepped up to the mic with a tone that could rival a paid infomercial. Showering Mayor Henyard with praises, he managed to weave compliments seamlessly into an unrelated narrative about meeting the president, all while promoting a photo op with the mayor and his daughter. But the satire doesn't end there. As he rallied against the trustees urging unity behind the mayor, one couldn't help but wonder, is this a civic meeting or a staged political drama? The spotlight on this self-proclaimed advocate raises eyebrows especially when his act took a detour into familial theatrics, questioning whether he's setting a stellar example for his daughter or just scripting another scene in Dalton's peculiar political play. In Dalton's theater of town meetings, Mayor Henyard's curated cast leaves citizens with more questions than answers. Is this a genuine pursuit of civic engagement? Or are we witnessing a script where audio glitches conveniently silence grievances while the spotlight shines on a carefully choreographed performance? I just can't believe it. Come it up for me. Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you, sir. Time is up. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, Mayor. Good evening, everyone. Um, <clears throat> this is my first time here. Uh, I wish everyone the best in remedying uh, whatever challenges uh, everyone has. Uh, I came here today, uh, Mayor Henyard, to uh, congratulate you on being in this seat um, and to wish you uh, the best moving forward and growing the town, growing your administration, working through challenges. That's my daughter right there. She's a straight A student, and I wanted her to see a young black woman who is um, leading, who is in a position of leadership, display of the possibilities. Um, I'm not knowledgeable on all of everyone's issues, the details um, of them. Uh, seems like, you know, from the outside looking in, you know, just politics. Um, but, the, you know, the stuff I hear about, I, you know, I see a lot of arguing. That's you know, one of the reasons I came because, you know, I love a good, uh, good argument. But when public meetings devolve into just arguing, um, you know, I would uh, encourage all the leaders here to, uh, you know, be more savvy than sometimes just arguing. That's what I've seen. But I came and I mean, I met Miss Brown. I mean, you guys are, you know, amazing. Thank you for saying hello um, to my daughter. But I was hoping my daughter could get a picture with you. I wanted to see, um, you know, a leader. Uh, I was looking today on uh, former Mayor Rogers of Dalton. He's got pictures online with some steak dinners, with some elected officials. I was just looking it up because these are the things that I see and I hear. But, you know, we got the mayor here. I mean, meeting with the president of the United States. Everyone's seen the picture. I mean, that's a big deal. That That is great promotion for this city, for this town. And I might just say, you know, you know, Dan, I would, you know, say just like, and we may not like, people may not like everything, but I haven't heard positive things or credit. Like, you know, wow, you know, you, you, you met with the president. Of all the mayors in all these towns, you're the one. You're able to meet with the president. How can we utilize this for our for our village? Congratulations on that. And still, you know, we got to work out and hash out issues. OK, but when it's all negative and it's all arguing. Um, I don't think that approach will ever really work. But again, that's from the outside looking in. I just wanted to come and, you know, say blessings to everyone. Thank you. I'm hoping my daughter might be able to get a picture with you. Thank you. In a dramatic monologue. Mayor Tiffany Henyard berated trustees for perceived resistance, highlighting her self-proclaimed firsts and transformative work without offering any receipts for accountability. As the one-woman show unfolded, an uncomfortable silence lingered over the town meeting, intensified by the glaring omission of a pressing issue. In the backdrop of Mayor Henyard's theatrical triumph, four individuals had recently fallen victim to violence in Dalton, 
yet the police had remained conspicuously silent. The mayor, too, evaded any mention of the incident, diverting attention away from a glaring reality. The absence of acknowledgement regarding the recent shootings added a disconcerting layer to the drama, leaving citizens to question whether the mayor's quest for positivity overshadowed the urgent need for addressing critical matters affecting the safety and well-being of the community. In Dalton's ongoing saga, Mayor Henyard's performance, marked by unsubstantiated claims and a selective silence on pressing issues, raises profound concerns about transparency and accountability. As the theatrical tirade continues, citizens are left to wonder if the town is witnessing a genuine commitment to progress or merely a grand illusion that avoids confronting inconvenient truths. Here is what she had to say. So there are no stages A to Z and know what to look for, who coming out, who the vendor is. So you let anybody in your house, what's the process and how long it takes to actually uh, complete the project. This project is projected to start on June, um, I got exact date, but June 2024 of this year. And also we got another, this is a $2 million grant as well. Um, so you'll hear more details as it relates to this one. And I do know, know that they forgive the 15, where the $1.5 million, as long as we paid the 500,000 uh, back to back, meaning right on time. So I just wanted to let you know that we'll talk more about that as that comes. Uh, next, uh, we received two hundred thousand dollars for a fire hydrant replacement grant. We received that. So all our fire hydrants will be replaced this year. So stay tuned for that. You see them working on the fire hydrants. We're re replacing all the, the guts inside the fire hydrant. So if you have a fire, it works. Uh, if they turn it, it cuts on. I want you to know that. Um, last but not least, our infrastructure. I'm real big on that. Uh, we received $250,000 for an infrastructure grant. And right now we're trying to put that towards our alleys um, and our sewage. So we're working on all these things currently now. Um, it's already in the pipeline. It's just a matter of timing of when we roll it out. But I wanted to keep you abreast to the things that we actually went and got, the things that's here for community and the progress that we're working on and that you will see coming up shortly. Okay. So with that being said, that's all the positive things that I got. I'm going to show a video just to uh, shadow the things that we've done in the community. I've always tried to show things through visual because some people don't get it. It was when you verbally said, sometimes they need to see it, see it and it's believing. And I just want to show you that um, I love y'all and there's nothing y'all can do about it. And I'm going to keep on pushing. I'm going to keep on fighting this fight because at the end of the day, this is a fight between good and evil. And right now, uh, good is prevailing and we are winning despite what people may say or think or write. And and I just want you to understand uh, all the ladies, all the women that has went through things that I'm going through. I don't think nobody went through as much scrutiny as me. But I think that everybody in here, they dose of um, lying on you, uh, dragging your name, defaming your character, things of that nature. But I told you, it's a matter how you come out of. It. So I just want you to see me as strength, strength and be your beacon of light and do the same thing that I'm doing. Just keep going. Have tunnel vision to the mess because this too shall pass, guys. But when it does pass. I want us to be victorious and, and band together because it's one band, one sound in the village of Dawson. And I just need your support and your love as we move forward through this uh, rocky times. Uh, play the video. So we got a lot of great things coming up this year. So stay tuned for that. Lori, Lane Brand, he's a song in the box. We had um, green beans, potatoes, things like that. It was a nice experience. I in the box. Dragging that day. <laughs> I want to thank Tiffany for all the gifts that she did for the community and how she helps out everybody. I've been out in Dalton for 22 years, and this is the only change I done seen in 22 years. We need to support her, even the trustee. My favorite mayor. Only one I ever seen do anything. <laughs> And as you can see, all the kids I have a relationship with, they all know me. They know what I do, who I am. And that, that's what I do for our community, guys. Yes, on this evening.
evening. I am Tanya St. Clair Franklin, owner of 14726 Dearborn Street. I've owned the property since January of 2023. At that time, I made the deposit for the inspection for $500, upon which completion was due in July. Thankfully, um, Director Moore was so kind to give us a free extension, which was through September 23rd at which time we were approved for the full inspection we were cleared. Um, in October, I came back because I was instructed that after the October um, meeting that things would be approved so that I could receive the deposit back. At that time, and maybe two or three more times in October, I was told that uh, the refund was not issued as of yet, the deposit was not released back. I believe I stopped in once in November, and then after that, of course, it was four of holidays just returned recently again in, we are in February, January of this year, two weeks ago, at which time Director Moore did look up my request that had been issued several times from what I understand to the finance department, and as of date, I have not received the lease for this deposit to receive a contract. Again, that's for $500. It is not interest-bearing. I have done my part for this village, and I'm asking, well, number one, to find out why my deposit is not been released. And two, what do I need to do to get that release? Ideally, pass by tonight's meeting. I hope that all makes sense. Yes. You can see the finance department, they're here this evening, so they will be choosing to. Okay, number one. Yes. Yeah. Finance department is right here. All of this. I will be checking you out tonight. All right. Thank you all. Happy Thank you. I apologize if you disrespected your name, type of way, and raise the flag. That is not our intent. So I'll come to you. You will move the flag, and it's not just the right way, but we will. Okay. 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 Well, we'll change now. I would just like to know, um, Mr. Moore, that he is a friend, and he said, uh, when he was praying, he God will. And I want to know, is it God's will to not give Dr. Scott her uh, permits for her building? Is that Christ life that she is a woman to not give her her permit so she can open up her business. All this week, all I heard was her premier is I'm a woman, I'm a woman. Dr. Scott is a woman too. And she deserves to have her permit to open up her business. And I think it's a shame that 
Trustee Belcher have to display her photos on the desk when everybody else's photo is clearly hanging up. I, it don't make no difference how you feel. Get out your feelings, and that's what all of it is. All week long, everybody's in their feelings. And is that, is that God? Is that pleasing to God? Are you doing what's pleasing to God? Because when it's all said and done, all of us have to give an account of our actions to Him. He runs this. This is, this is His thing, not our thing. And it's a shame and a disgrace that her photo is sitting there and Dr. Scott cannot get up to it. Thank you.